Hello fellow Aptera reservation holders and those of you who are just Aptera curious. If you choose to make a reservation, please consider using my link below to save $30 on your reservation. In this video, I'm going to recap the first and second week of Aptera's Accelerator program. I'm doing a brief recap of the first week because some of the numbers have changed significantly. The major changes are that the largest single investor has left the program and most days have added a significant amount of new investors. Aptera has also added some bonus gifts for their investors. For those who are not familiar with the Accelerator program is, you have to invest a minimum of $10,000 between January 27th and March 26th. They are hoping to get 2,000 investors to raise at least $20 million to help them reach the $50 million they claim will allow them to start large-scale production. If you join the program, you will be one of the first 2,000 to receive your vehicle based on the total investment. Aptera has also added bonus gifts for different investment tiers. They sent an email to reservation holders and possibly everyone on their mailing list detailing the bonuses added to the program. The top 2,000 investors in the Accelerator program will be receiving a limited edition hardcover book about producing the first Aptera. It will feature CAD and design images from the development of the vehicle. Each book will also be serialized to match the investor's place in the Accelerator program and will be part of the unique signifiers of the first 2,000 vehicles. In addition, investors who contribute over $15,000 will be given a branded Aptera adventure bag ready to be filled up with essential items for their solar-powered adventure. For people who invest $25,000 or more, they will receive the adventure bag and branded Aptera Accelerator jackets. Aptera also promises that the top 10 investors will get special surprises. Aptera says that as the program grows and more forward-thinking people join the movement, they will add more items and experiences to the list. One question I saw on the forums was if the amounts were based on total investments or investments in the Accelerator program. Usually I would say it would just be the amount invested during the Accelerator program would count towards the awards. But since this ranking is based on the total investment, I think you qualify for the bonuses based on total investment, and I hope Chris or Steve clarify this in another update. I also got an interesting comment from Alan Snyder, who plans on investing at some point but is currently just watching the progress. I'm interested in knowing what it would take for potential investors to jump in. Did the announced perks help to convince you to invest? It would be a shame for a campaign to fail because people were waiting on the campaign to reach some point before they invest and it does not reach that point because they did not invest. Now let's get to the charts. I want to be clear that my numbers are accurate as of 2.10.7.01 p.m. update. Aptera does a rolling update as investments come in and changes will happen to earlier days. The green bars and numbers show the updated numbers for the first two weeks of the investment program. The blue bar shows the original first week of reporting so you can see some of the differences. As you can see on the total number of investors on January 27th went down by one investor and every other day picked up a significant number of investors since last week's update. The most notable change in investors is that we lost the single largest investor known as KA who was a new investor and had invested over $136,500. I expect a similar bump in the total number of investors next week especially for the numbers of investors on February 8th and 9th uh, they were in the low single digits. The loss of the big donor was also a major hit to the weekly average raised. The first bar is the first week average last week, which was over $12,300. Now the first week's average has dropped to $11,700, which is a loss of over $600 per investor. The second week's average is stronger with almost $12,000 per person. But with the lower total amount of investors, it could not raise the total average much. The average raised per person for the life of the campaign is just over $11,760. Another big change is in the breakdown of new versus old investors this week. The portion of new investors has gone down significantly from 30% last week to only 22% now. Only 11 new investors were added, while 95 repeat investors were added. This is not a great sign as it would be nice to see the program increasing the investor base more significantly. The total raised per day did go up significantly as they added new investors to the first week, but the chart shows that the total raised each day is still dropping quickly. 
they have already dropped far below the 340000 they would need to raise each day to make it to their $20 million goal. The last two days of the second week raised less than 10% of that. But I think the campaign will still be a success. As you can see, there was a significant increase in the amount raised in the first week when they were able to more accurately update the list of investors. But the growth rate, as expected, is starting to flatten out. They did hit the milestone of raising over $3 million in the first two weeks, but I think they need to be closer to $7 million to make it to its $20 million goal. I think they'll probably raise over $10 million, which might allow them to access some of the California grant money. This progress chart was added as a suggestion by Be Happy, and it really shows the drop-off in investments between weeks one and two. Week one brought in about 11% of the total goal, but week two only represents about 4% of the total needs. They still need to raise about $17 million or 85% of their goal. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, like and share to help our channel grow. And below you'll find links to our website, evolveelectric.org, our Twitter and Instagram.